Every time I look at him, I just see class. One of the best brothers I've seen in my life in the world. This Desar wanted to win all the time. Can't teach him. There are a lot of great players. Very few, I think, have the qualities that Steven Gerrard brings. Well, as you can see behind me, Steven Gerrard is saying goodbye to Anfield right now. What was my first reaction when I heard the news that he was to sign for the LA Galaxy? Well, I must admit, I wasn't that surprised. I hope all of you know by now, um, I've decided that this will be my last year playing. Well, certainly Landon was a big loss and is a big loss and uh, we were looking to replace him with a, a player uh, either in the midfield or, or striker positions. And among the list of players we were looking at once Steven Gerrard's name was there, I thought he'd be a perfect fit for the Galaxy. This is a legend, this is an iconic type of figure. It's a guy that's going to help the league on the field and more importantly help the Los Angeles Galaxy continue to win. But it also didn't surprise me. This is what the Los Angeles Galaxy does. MLS is, is making big efforts, if you like, to, to continually improve and, and uh, take big strides forward. And I think the signing of a Steven Gerrard is a, a massive coup for them. I had a couple of opportunities around Europe, some nice opportunities, but for me, I wanted a completely fresh challenge. I wanted to come out of my comfort zone. I wanted to live away from home and get a different life experience and, and also um, choose a place where I thought my family had settled and, and enjoyed themselves for the next couple of years. So LA ticked all the boxes. His name uh, is going to be massive uh, for the development of, of the league, but not only not only the name and, and the marketing side of it, uh, uh, the game. It's an unexpected surprise to get a, a talent like Steven Gerrard. He's a class guy on and off the field, and I think every other team in the league, if they had the opportunity to get Steven Gerrard, they would have pounced. But that's why the Galaxy are the Galaxy. Kind of like ESPN when you watch highlights of great plays, you kind of get numb to certain things. But a guy like Steven Gerrard, we, we, can't, we can't ignore the fact that this is one of the great players on the world stage who's made a decision to come to LA and play for the Galaxy. This is, this is big, and this is big on every level. Steven isn't just the selling point off the field. He's, he's the true deal because he's the selling point both on and off the field. So they'll win matches thanks to him. He fits uh, every aspect that we want for players in our club. When you sit and speak to him and hear how he approaches the game, I mean, you look at the greats in any sport, and they have something different mentally uh, in the way that they approach the game, and Steven Gerrard has that. One of the best players that I've seen uh, in my life, not only in the Premier League, but in the world. The way he, he could decide a game at any time and, and, and change the course of a game. Uh, with his abilities, uh, it was just uh, breathtaking at times. He's a top, top player and he's going to be a huge addition to this squad. And uh, Not just that as well, but you know, off the field as well. He's a good lad, and his passion and his desire and his, uh, you know, his hard work and obviously his, his ability on the ball is, is second to none. Gerard. Nice strike! Steven Gerrard, at his very best, was a force of nature almost. He could bring an energy, a drive, a purpose to any football team. He did it with Liverpool for many, many years. Everybody knows how Steven Gerrard plays. Everybody, when preparing for Liverpool, watches tape on Steven Gerrard and knows exactly what he's going to do, yet he still finds a way to be successful year after year after year after year. Players like that have always impressed me more than anybody who scores 30 goals one year and then you never hear about again, because to do it consistently is the most difficult thing in sports. Composure, class, confidence. Um, the guy has a great work rate. You don't see a lot of turnovers from him. He has the ability to calm things down, slow things down, but also, um, he has that knack for that killer pass. You know, Robbie Keane, when he found out, he must have just, you know, he must have been dialing him up right away saying, this is going to be fantastic. 
it is already a great organization that you have uh, in LA and obviously having a guy like Stevie G alongside the guy that you had in the past and still have with Robbie King is, is just going to be amazing. You'll always get from him what you've hoped to get from him as a player on the field and on top of that not only will he be good for the team, he'll make the other players around him good for the team and that's, that's, that's the hard thing to do. He leaves everything on the field. There's nothing, when he walks off for the pitch at the end of the day, it's not, oh, if only. It's there, and if we win, we win. If we don't, at least I'll give him my best. And I think that's a, a big part of younger players learning that. It's not to walk away and say, if only. Stephen's never done that in his career, and he's been a, a wonderful player, a great professional, and people will get to know him as a great man as well. And I've, as I said, I can't speak highly enough of him. You know, I like to give a 100% and work as hard as I can. I don't like losing. So I'll do everything I can to try and win football matches and you know, I'm a team player, I'm not no individual. I never think about myself, it's all about the team and what I can bring to the team to help us win. Well, there are a lot of great players out there. Very few, I, I think, have the qualities that, 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 that Steven Gerrard brings. If he comes at it understanding that this isn't a vacation and he has a responsibility and high expectations, uh, if he comes at it with that type of attitude, he can be very successful. I was delighted as soon as he put the you know, pen to paper and me and everybody else associated with the guy because he's looking forward to his arrival. I love the fact that Steven Gerrard's coming to LA because I get the sense he still has something left in that tank to prove. I think his exit from Liverpool um, was not the way he would have choreographed it. And I think that's going to fuel him a little bit more to prove some of those doubters out there uh, that he still has plenty more to offer. Any team that adds a player of that caliber with that amount of leadership is going to be significantly better immediately. He's not just going to come here on a holiday or a vacation and just uh, enjoy LA. He's not built that way, he's not wired that way. and. Uh, it does take a special player to, uh, to leave the comforts of where he's been to finish his career the right way. I know there's going to be difficult days where I miss home. Uh, I know there's going to be challenges with the travel, with the pitches, with the heat. I'm, I'm ready for all them challenges. And you know, I've been a footballer at the top level for 17 years and I've faced many, many big challenges along the way. And um, I've done my best to face them. And, um, you know, head on and do my best, and I'm, I'm prepared to do that certainly for the next 18 months for, for LA Galaxy. You know, when I turn up in Los Angeles, you know, I want to be ready to go. I don't want any excuses where I'm, I need weeks or a month to get any fitness. So I'm trying to keep a level of fitness where, you know, I'm, I'm in good condition when I arrive. I look at him, I just see class. One of the best players I've seen in my life in the world. This desire wanted to win all the time, can't teach him. There are a lot of great players. Very few, I think, have the qualities that Steven Gerrard brings. It's an interesting topic of discussion when you bring in designated players, older ones, that are coming into Major League Soccer in the middle part of the season. I think it's very difficult for any player to come in mid-season in MLS, and we have a history of players that come in that struggle. I, I talked to him, I said, make sure you don't make the same mistake that I did. I, I went to play without any training session, and, I, and that was a, a huge mistake because, as you can imagine, I wasn't ready. Well, I think any player that comes from another environment into our league, there's an adaptable time period. It may be a month, it may be a few weeks, it may be several months. It's, it's really an individual thing. This is all going to be very new to him, and there's going to have to be some patience from his teammates, from his coaches, uh, and from the supporters alike, because this is a huge change for anybody, let alone a player that has played his entire career in one place. Playing in the summer, traveling, uh, uh, the different time zone. MLS is a summer sport. LA is a hot city. That is a draining, draining thing. You know, when I turn up in Los Angeles, you know, I want to be ready to go. I don't want any excuses where um, I need weeks or a month to get any fitness. So I'm trying to keep a level of fitness where, you know, I'm, I'm in good condition when I arrive.
one aspect that the LA Galaxy, I'm going to say it's a feather in their cap, is the one designated player that did do well coming over midseason was Robbie Keane. He's coming into an organization, first and foremost, that is better equipped than anybody to handle big name signings and to handle signings in the middle of the season, especially with a guy like Bruce Arena, who understands how to integrate a player into an established team. I mean, he's been playing the game for years, and I'm sure he, he's come across a player that's, that's similar to me and the way I play, and I'm sure he can definitely give out some advice. So. I'm just going to have my ears open. He's going to talk, knowing him, he's going to talk, he's going to be vocal. Those youngsters need to take that in consideration. If I was a youngster seeing Stevie G coming, I would be bothering him every day about with questions and, and listening to him because he has, he has done it. Guys like Gerard are hard to find. And when you get them and you can put them on a team like the Galaxy, um, they just seem to have this way of getting more out of the players, educating them on and off the field. He fills a void that I think we've had in the midfield for quite some time. And, uh, you know, he, he gives us the passing that I, I think is critically important for us. I, I go back to the four or five years where L.A. really dominated with David Beckham. It was on the counter. And the ability that David Beckham had over 40, 50 yards to deliver pinpoint passing, it's the same thing Steven Gerrard's bringing to this team. So. Now you bring in the counter-attacking ability of Giazzi Zardes. You've got Robbie Keane off the back shoulder of defenders. I think Steven Gerrard brings back that counter-attack threat that the LA Galaxy had for two, three years that made him almost unstoppable. And I think that's going to be a huge asset because Janino next to him, he'll run all over, he'll tackle, he'll keep possession. But Gerrard adds a different element that this current LA Galaxy team doesn't have. Well, I've enjoyed watching the guys and I'm trying to you know, trying to get used to them as individuals, see where they play, what they do, what they offer to the team. I think the performances have been a bit mixed. I've seen some good performances and obviously times when um, we haven't got out of the game, you know, what we would have wanted. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with the level. I think all the boys are in great condition. The tempo looks good and, and strong, so um, I'm looking forward to sampling it for myself. There's no question he's going to bring us quality, uh, and we hope he raises our level uh, in other aspects. And we have the same intention every year. We want to win, uh, and we want to win a championship. And we hope by adding this piece midseason uh, only bolsters our squad and helps us to get to where we want to go again. Now we know he's going to be productive and he's going to be good, but even if all those things went away, everything else he does, all the intangibles, are a massive benefit, and they're going to make this team a lot better. I know he's coming midway through the season. That doesn't bother me because I'd take a week of Steven Gerrard over no Steven Gerrard. And you give him half the season, um, by the time those playoffs roll around, the Galaxy will be the team to beat. It can't come quick enough. And, you know, I just want to get over there and, and get my teeth into it and, and meet all, all my new teammates. Gerard, centre midfield for the LA Galaxy. Every time I look at him, I just see class. One of the best players I've seen in my life in the world. This desire wanted to win all the time. Can't teach him. There are a lot of great players. Very few, I think, have the quality that Steven Gerrard brings. that as Steven Gerrard goes through this adventure and this process of integrating into the Galaxy and MLS, he's going to find things that he can relate to and a lot of things that he can't relate to. Everything good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, trip, good trip over? Yeah, great to be here. Let's get you through your physical and all that other stuff. So this is the first time you've been here, right? Yeah, first time. was all right? Good. Very impressive when you sit down with him in person, and I think both Bruce and myself, what we took away from that after spending uh, a couple hours with him discussing things, you know, we wanted to talk about a lot of different things. Uh, he wanted to talk about the game. Quite tight, quite narrow. This is one of the biggest differences in the This is where we work. Just getting the edge around the fact that we 
training daily things in the stadium. Uh -huh. it's yeah. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah. I'm, I'm just looking forward to having a guy that will be just a great pro, that sets the tone, will be an example for our younger players, that will give us leadership immediately and instant respect in the locker room. It's always great to have a, 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 not only a great uh, a player, but a great man uh, uh, around, around LA and obviously around the facilities there. We were really impressed. He knew every player on our team. He knew the formation that we played. He knew how he would fit in and how he could make us better. He wanted to know about the individuals and their character and, and, and what they were like. And to have a player like that that was finishing uh, one of the most storied careers um, in the history of, of the Premier League uh, at his club and to be able to think outside for the next step was really, really impressive. And it showed his intentions coming to our league uh, and coming to our club. Someone um, that's been involved for that long, that's had the success he's had, could have an inclination to take it easy, to take days off, to not play as hard as he can all the time, but he's never done that. In all workplaces, we all know who puts a stint in and who doesn't. Well, just imagine an officer's addressing you. You know who you want in any workplace when your back's against the wall. And everyone who's played with, and I'd say against Steven Gerrard, knows that when you're in the trenches, Steven Gerrard's someone you want with you. You don't play a club like Liverpool for, for that long and, uh, and to play in the Premiership for that long if you don't, if you're not professional, he's certainly that and um, as I said, that will rub off you know, on the players here and the players will see that. Steven Gerrard, that is right. He is in the house, people. He is here with his wife to take in his first Galaxy game. Players coming out onto the field. Opponents out scoring 19 to 5 here at home for the LA Galaxy. Liverpool fans everywhere, and they're here tonight. Our contest is underway. Toronto with the ball off the kickoff. Sending through for Jose, right on his left foot, sends it back post. It might have been deflected. And it's going to be a corner kick here for the Galaxy. Robbie Rogers now. Into Lejet, turning towards goal. Lejet brought down. Penalty. Referee gives the goal ahead. Keen stutters, fires, and he scores! 1 0 Galaxy as he roots it. That is 45 minutes here at Stump Up Center. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field LA Galaxy President Chris Klein and the newest member of your LA Galaxy, number eight, Steven Gerrard. She don't fall. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. It's an honor for me to introduce the newest member of our squad, LA Galaxy midfielder, number eight, Steven Gerrard. Thank you very much for a fantastic welcome uh, and thanks very much for making myself and my family feel at home here in LA. Uh, it, feels, it, it feels great to be here. Uh, I'm excited and I can't wait to get my boots on and play in front of you guys and hopefully Hopefully we can have some good times together and it can be a successful future. Happy 4th of July, all the best.
Steve. Yeah. 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 How's training, man? Yeah, it's good. How's your body? It's good. It's normal Liverpool day. Every time I look at him, I just see class. One of the best players I've seen in my life in the world. It's the czar wanted to win all the time. Can't teach him. There are a lot of great players. Very few, I think, have the quality that Steven Gerrard brings. How's training, man? Yeah, it's good. It's good. How's your body? Just want to stay in. It's a normal Liverpool day. Yeah. No, it's a good day. Your body feels alright. The player you like playing with in the midfield is a bugger. He's yeah. really a smart player. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to come out to StubHub Center for the LA Galaxy's unveiling of their newest midfielder, number eight, Steven Gerrard. Well, first and foremost, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming today. You know, a fantastic turnout. Um, I'm very excited to be here. The game on Saturday can't come quick enough. And um, we've got a fantastic team here, a fantastic setup. And if I can just add a little bit to that and contribute to the best of my ability, I think the, the future can be really bright. Steven's leadership and ability on the field is, is outstanding. And I, I think uh, in time he'll demonstrate to everyone here in Los Angeles. And, and as he has already in our organization, he's a first class person and player. We're so very excited to have him here. Obviously there's a marketing uh, and excitement piece. Fans will get to see him. But from a team perspective, He's a tremendous player. Hi Steve, welcome to LA. Uh, has it been a bit of a, a whirlwind for you? Obviously you spent your whole career at a club like Liverpool and now you're here, a new team, new league and a new country as well. What's, what's it been like uh, since you touched down here? Yeah, I think the last seven days have been a bit of a whirlwind, but the move hasn't because you know I've had time to prepare. You know, for me now, I'm just looking forward to getting my boots out, outside on the pitch and hopefully getting some wins. I think there'll be a few minor stops and starts and a few tweaks. You know, the players have got to get used to me, the way I play. Um, I've got to adapt to the way the team plays and certain individuals play. I adapt pretty quickly. Uh, I've been around the game for a long time. I'm very experienced. Um, so I think that transition will happen uh, very quickly. Um, for me, I want to get off to a good start. I'm not coming here with any excuses that I need months to settle in. Uh, I'm looking to fire from the beginning. He's certainly a good teammate, good to have around him. Uh, he's going to give that extra little bite that you know, we certainly need coming towards the end of the season. Everything's fell into place really nice and now it's over to me to um, do me talking on the pitch. You know, it's very easy for me to sit up here and talk the talk, now I've got to walk it. And, um, you know, my manager and my boss sits next to me on the left. Whatever he asks of me, I'll, I'll do. Wherever he asks me to go, wherever he asks me to play, whatever job he wants from me, it'll get done to the best of my ability. And just to have him uh, with us on the field, I feel like uh, it's going to bring more confidence. Not only more confidence, I feel like, uh, like I said, attacking-wise, we're going to have more opportunities. Going forward, moving forward, it's all about success. You know, I've, I come here to win. You know, if there's anyone out there who thinks I'm coming here for the holiday and a last paycheck, um, they'll be proved wrong uh, very soon. Well, his first game is going to be against Club America, which will be probably unusual. I don't think uh, Stevens played against a Mexican club before in his career. So, so that'll be interesting and it'll be a different type of uh, football that day. It, it, it'll be fabulous for our fans. You know, they're, they're, they've been uh, biting at the bit for a while now that, that they know that we, we have Steven coming and I think uh, we're going to see a full stadium and, and, and people quite anxious to see him play in a Galaxy uniform. Every time I look at him, I just see class. One of the best players I've seen in my life in the world. It's the czar wanted to win all the time. I can't teach him. Anymore. 
There are a lot of great players. Very few, I think, have the quality that Steven Gerrard brings. Quite frustrating watching the team against Toronto. I was very pleased with the win, but I was itching you know, to get out there and join the boys. So I get my opportunity tomorrow to play 45, and I need them minutes. Yeah, it's not like we're throwing him to the wolves. He's played in a few games before, so he'll be fine. He wants to wants to win. I'm sure he's uh, you know excited to, to put that Galaxy jersey on for his for his first game. You know, I see this as a very important game. Uh, I've come here to play football and to work hard and to win and be successful, and you know. You know, that journey starts tomorrow. These LA players on home territory, but it doesn't particularly feel like that with the presence of so many Club America fans and all eyes are on Steven Gerrard as he makes his LA Galaxy debut. That's the worst thing, the build-up to your actual debut. A lot of expectation out there. You've already seen his wonderful career with England, with Liverpool. I expect similar for him. I'll see that later. Okay, guys, uh, real quick, just a couple things. They have six, six reserve field players, right? So we want to go real hard. First 45 minutes, really get after them. In the second 45 minutes, you know, in their preseason. So we should really push the pace on that. Okay? When you go out and warm up, see, I'm sure you're going to see that there's a strong Mexican contingent here. It should be fun. Let's have a lot of fun and get, get after it. All right? Let's enjoy it. Let's have fun and really get after it. Well, it's the moment LA Galaxy fans have been waiting for. Steven Gerrard is named on the Galaxy team sheet. He will play 45 minutes here. It's the first time in 27 years that the former Liverpool skipper has worn the club shirt on the number. Hey, everyone has a chance to play tonight and contribute. No one comes into our home, right? And doesn't leave with their ass kicked, right? Let's really get after it, okay? Come on, on three, Galaxy. One, two, three. Here we go, boys. Come on. About 30 seconds. Go. Champions Cup, a tournament which will span the globe. Some of football's biggest names who hope to land the biggest trophies. Joining with Arroyo. Well, they win this well. And this is Quintero. On Steven Gerrard's big night. Club America roll into LA and gate crash the party. It's only pre-season, but that could be a big goal for Darwin Quintero. One thing these other Galaxy players will find out if they don't know already. Steven Gerrard will chase after absolutely everything. He won't give anything up. Villarreal looking to make up with Steven Gerrard. It's Gerrard! Denied his big debut moments by Gonzalez. Nidio. A great touch of Robbie Keane. That is class. Tonight may be all about Gerrard. But Robbie Keane is a big hero. That is absolutely exquisite. I'm just sitting here with a big smile on my face. The ball's a good one, but look what he has to do here. Right over his shoulder, the most difficult ball to bring down. And in an instant, one touch has caused the goalkeeper and defender to take them out of the game. He's taken right out of the game. Nothing they can do. Sheer brilliance. Plenty happening in the first half in LA. What will the second half bring us here? Completely different to LA Galaxy. Starting 11 in the second half now. America keeping the nucleus of the team together.
That's the imprint. That's the ability he has with his head. Picked up beautifully. The veteran strikes for the Galaxy. LA Galaxy the winners by two goals to one. Good evening. LA Galaxy head coach and general manager, Bruce Arena, on the Galaxy's 2-1 win over Club America. Certainly wasn't perfect, but they, uh, they got the job done. Uh, I, I think the way they closed the game out and, and preserved the, the three points was, was excellent. I think Steven, Steven played well. His passing was very good. His, uh, his uh, partnership with Janina was good. Won some tackles. Uh, helped create some chances. And could have had a goal. I think they keep it. You know, made a great save on it. So his first time out, it was very encouraging. He looked good. Looked like he belonged, his leadership was real good, and I thought it was solid. It's great to get him on the field and get him acclimated with the team. Both sides of the game, he's, he's a total package, so he's going to be great. It was fun to watch him play tonight for the first time live, and uh, you know I'm excited to watch him going forward. His, his first game uh, with us is going to be big regardless of who it's against, uh, but to have it against San Jose here at home, here at StubHub Center, uh, is going to be a special night for him and a special night for our club. game against San Jose, the California Classical, the rivalry that that is, I think it's a good first game to get uh, to get Steven Gerrard's feet wet in Major League Soccer. This game's been on everyone's lips for a few weeks. You know, when I arrived, they told me the main game to prepare for was tomorrow's game. I'm sure once the, the whistle goes, there'll be some good tackles and some good battles going on, and hopefully I can get off to a winning start. I look at him, I just see class. One of the best players I've seen in my life in the world. This desire, he wanted to win all the time, I can't teach him. There are a lot of great players. Very few, I think, have the qualities that Steven Gerrard brings. Stump up center is designed as the LA Galaxy return to MLS play. Tonight, it's the California Classico game two. The Galaxy home to the San Jose Earthquakes. But tonight, a special night. The MLS debut for Galaxy DP, Steven Gerrard. Look, the Galaxy are assembling an all-star team, and with that comes a lot of expectations. The Los Angeles Galaxy, after getting off to a slow start this season, have turned things around, and this man is only going to help the Galaxy, dressed in white today. San Jose Earthquakes in their blue and black Friday night soccer. Gerard, his MLS Galaxy debut is underway. Good ball played up top. Good opportunity now for Sana Niasi. Played inside. What a ball! The shot! Goal! And have a crack at it. It's Garcia Perez put it out up top. Another opportunity. The shot! Yes! Robbie to Husinich. 
Robbie wants it again. Play it Okay guys, a couple of things here. First of all, on restarts, let's make sure you have your responsibilities and we're not dropping early. With their size, good chance they get the head on the first one. You gotta be better there. Alright? Good on the break, uh, 25 holding the ball up too much. You gotta get into them a little bit more. A lot of good character to come back in that game, right? So now it's out there for us to win. Alright? Come on, push it hard. Let's get the first goal of the second half, right? We are set for the second 45 minutes of the Cali Classico. Look at this play by Robbie King. Steven Gerrard to the center. This is the third one for Galaxy. This is the third one for Galaxy. Oh, the post. Wow! And brought down just outside the box. Robbie Rogers, the man caught in trouble. Steven Gerrard's finally going to get a crack at it. Gerrard puts it inside. Still plenty of time for San Jose to potentially get a level of a Galaxy to get more. Good opportunity. Formidable chance for the Los Angeles Galaxy. Who else to take it? Steven G. He's going to go straight. Oh, that's a post. Straight to goal. Ball blasts the post. What a game, Steven G. The Earthquakes always taking this Cali Classico very serious and giving the Galaxy headaches. The shot is taken. Looked like it had nothing on it. Ball hit the post. Second penalty kick of the night. The shot! Goal! Oh yeah, Robbie Keane! Los Angeles, four! San Jose, two! And look at this! Yeah, deserved ovation. Slow beginning to the game, got himself into it, and once that ball hit the back of the net, you saw that smile from Bruce Arena as he shook his hand. Almost a welcome to MLS, and I'm glad to have you on my team. The Los Angeles Galaxy again looking for a fifth. There's no bad fifth one. Keen looking to get inside. Well defended in the back by Wynn. Ball comes back inside the house. Sebastian Lanchette. And Gerard, he's off the field. He's still enjoying it. What a comeback. Five goals. Five starters play from LA Galaxy. On Steven Gerrard's MLS debut, San Jose. What's up? 2-0 once upon a time. Evening, everyone. You know, I felt like a kid out there again. Um, I don't want to come off. I want to play as much football as I can. Um, one of the reasons why I come to this team was to you know, start all the games and play as many minutes as possible. I was determined not to become a squad player. I still feel like I've got energy. I still love the game. I'm enjoying training. I'm settling in pretty nicely. So um, I don't smile much in and around the place because I'm always focused and looking forward to the next job. Um, but you know, I'm really happy sitting here. You know, I'm, I'm happy with the level. Um, I feel very confident. I'm happy with my teammates and the level we've got. And, you know, we're only going to get stronger when we get some more bodies fit and available as well. So I think the future's bright here, so I'm pretty happy.